Hello and welcome back everybody. It's been a while. Um, I have been just busy and um, tell the truth, I just haven't really had anything to show you. And I don't want to come here and just gas on with, with nothing really to say. I'm just going to have a drink in a minute. Sorry about this. And um, yeah, you know, I, you, I know you're on here for like the, how I lose weight, how I keep it off. And that's coming in a different film soon. And but today is your favourite. I thought I'd treat you because I've been on for so, off, haven't been on for such a long time that I know you like a try on, and I know you like seeing what I bought clothes wise, <laughs> whether they're daft, whether they suit me, whether they don't. Who knows? So first things I wanted to show you, which I really, really um, do think is quite important, especially for people that have lost a lot of weight and they're carrying around loose skin, is, is one of these. So we've got this in a pair of knickers that were a bit tight actually, but they might fit me now, who knows. Uh, but this is an all-in-one from, um, it holds you in, it's not It's not ridiculous, I haven't got, um, it's not thick, it's quite thin. Uh, it holds you in in all the right places, it's got poppers underneath, so I won't show you too much of it because it's underwear. Um, this is the front, so you wear it with a bra because that's the only thing, if I need to have a bra, I'm 32 double G if anyone's interested in that, you know, a, part, a lot of the dressing is how to accommodate such a large bust with such a small back and the rest of me is quite small. Um, so that's the back and actually that holds, again, it looks like the front, but that holds stuff in, you know, your back slabs that hang over your bra, that holds it and smooths it. So it doesn't hold it, it just smooths everything. And actually hold your bra up, even though it's there. You can see I need quite a lot of. Sorry about that. Quite a lot of so like lift, even though we've got a good bra on. So this is a Marks and Spencers. I got it brand new with tags off of um, Vinted. They have loads on there. I like to get just a coffee coloured one, um, just a nude coloured one, because it will go under anything. It will go under black. It will go under white. Um, so yeah, that's that. And I believe this cost me about £12 and I don't know, how, I can't tell you how much, but they'll definitely be £35 or more. I've got a pair of knickers the same. Um, I haven't really tried those on yet, <laughs> but um, I haven't needed to. This goes under anything and it's not boiling hot. So yeah, highly recommend Marks and Spencers. There we go. It's a size 14, this one. Okay. Um, I don't want anything that's going to... Where I'm, I'm a size sort of 12, possibly, you know, a, a good, a normal average size 12, but I need a 14 sometimes at the top when it's, and sometimes you don't want anything that's too small. You don't want to go undersized with some gum, some where it's made for that. So it's slightly big around the hips for me, but I don't really need those held in. It's more the tummy. Anyway, yeah, extremely good. So this, I don't know what make it is, but if you look in there, you will see. Um, there we go. That's what it looks like. Okay. So Mark Spencer's Vinted has them too. So the twelve, the knickers are size 12. That I've got on these are size 14 for the bust. Um, that was Vinted. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at this top. I wanted a white t-shirt with puff sleeves and I got a white t-shirt with puff sleeves and a v-neck. So my, my, um, style i've been looking at kibby style my style is actually um a soft gamine with natural sort of curvy bits as well it's a brand new with monsoon it cost me about three or four pounds it's got like cotton sleeves puffed but this is t-shirt material but very lovely quality t-shirt material and then you can see around the neck this is this is good for gamine because i've got different types of material and i've got you know, neck, you know, a little bit of ribbing on the neck. So even though it's it's V-neck and they say you should have high neck, I've got, with a big chest, I need a V-neck sometimes. So that is my monsoon. That's from Vinted as well. Another Vinted. Oh gosh, they're all over here. Sorry. Uh, little tops for work. I really wanted something that I could wear at work that weren't too... <laughs> you will see that none of my clothes... I, I couldn't do a capture wardrobe because... Everything I've bought, bought recently, nothing goes with the other thing. And obviously, and that's why my wardrobe's massive. But I'm the sort of girl that likes to change twice a day. <laughs> so this cute little top, it's um, it's viscose and it's a little bit crepey, the material. A little zip up the back, a lovely little collar with a frill. And then down the bottom, like down the sides, are all these buttons. I don't undo, but it's a, I just love little details like that. 
and then a frill around the bottom and that's from Next. And that was only about two pounds from Vinted. Everything, you know, you can put in Next, Summer Top, and you can actually put a price in. And some things are like a pound. This was only about two pounds. Another one, I love this. Again, the neck's really nice. It's like, it's like a, a fold over neck, but it's slightly cowled. It's, I love these colors. I love that 60s style. And then at the back, it's got a little thing that pops out. Now, this could be dangerous because you know my butt sticks out. But that is just so nice. Now that was, I wanted, as soon as I needed to have it, obviously. So that's a petite. She put it as a 12 petite. Then in the thing she put, it was a 14. It took ages to get back to me because, you know, people are busy. They haven't got time to get back to you. And it's not, not a problem. And I just bought it anyway for that price. This skirt, I wanted a long wrap skirt. And I wanted an animal print skirt. Sorry about all this. I wanted an animal print skirt, but I didn't want a leopard print skirt, if you know what I mean. I wanted something a bit more zebra-like, and I didn't I get it. Look at that. So it's very long. It's longer than I thought. So this is Marks and Spencer's. That's in a 12. And it's, again, it's that crepey material, so it's it's not too light. It's quite quite heavy. It's viscose again. And I really like that, so I need, I need to try that on. I've sort of, like, popped them on, but not with anything, because I knew I was going to do this... Um, this video and then so that was Marks and Spencer's these were both next that's monsoon so I'm doing really well I love my little I love my name brands <laughs> they're not even name brands but I like my nice fits and then I got this lovely Bowden dress I can't remember if I showed you I got it ages ago I haven't worn I've worn it once sorry that was a lie I have worn it once but that was near um it wasn't as warm but what I have noticed is under the uh, so it's got a, one of those side zips it can be a pain in the butt it's actually got a little hole under there but i can fix that that's absolutely no problem so it's a bowden dress ties around the waist let me see right this was i think it was four pounds i mean you know it's such good quality this was only about five pounds as well the tops are about two pounds each and i think the monsoon one was actually four pounds now for my charity shop buy that I got today, which is from, so that's Dorothy House, brand new with tags, it was £16, I got it for £5.50. And it's this really lovely skirt with just pom-pom, it was the pom-poms and it was the colour that got me first. The quality is beautiful, it's lined, cotton and... It's got um, buttons down the front, a tie what tie belt, and that is a size 12. So everything here else is a size 12, sorry. Um, just meet the monsoon's medium. Everything's a size 12 except the, the petite, which um, was a 14, but that's fine. Um, I think I can pull it off. So this is papaya, which is... Oh, God, what is it? I can see the store. Matalan. Yeah, so it's um, elasticated waist. It's got a little tie. Button front, it's not too long. Again, I'm trying to keep away. Oh yeah, that, that you can see is, is brand new. I'm trying to keep away from anything that's right down to the floor because I know it swamps me. There are so, especially if it's big. Okay, now shopping my wardrobe. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I haven't even shown you the shoes yet. So, um, I bought a pair of um, pull-on, they were zip-up, suede boots with a little heel, but when they came, they are absolutely beautiful, but I can't fit my poor arthritic toes in them. So I'm going to resell them. I got them for a tenner. I'm going to resell them. They're beautiful. And they were riches, so they were very good price. I hope it's not too dark. It's really weird weather. Um, I got these, and they are a pull-on. They're not too... I can fit my toes in there. The other ones are so pointy. They're like proper witch's boots. They're beautiful. I've got a little kit in here. I can deal with that. And I'll probably get them rehealed as soon as possible with a proper proper heel on there because I will wear them out. I'm quite clumpy. And they are lovely. I don't know. I've got very thin calves and ankles, so they might be a little bit, um, they might not be very roomy. Oh, sorry, they might be too roomy to have them skin tight, but that's okay. I'm not, I'm not really bothered about that. They were five pounds. Five pounds worn once. M&S. I don't know m and and then I got these from Next. I wanted a pair of the clumpy shoes. And I bought, I got two pairs. Um, one went around the ankle. And I really liked them both. But I think I wanted one that didn't didn't have a big slap around the ankle. Because sometimes that can cut you off if you've got short legs. Uh, if you're short. And um, 
yeah, these are lovely. Now, they're by Lindsay. They were £25. And to tell the truth, they're not brilliant. Um, they're not brilliant quality. They really aren't. They're very, as soon as I touched them, I'm cheap. They, they, I thought, they're oh, they're quite flimsy. But I've worn them a few times. They're so comfortable. So I'm, you know, I'm quite happy, though, with those. I did, I was going to send them back, but I thought, I wear them around the house a couple of times, and I thought they're really comfy, you know. So I'm I'm okay with those. I mean, I think that I don't think they're worth a twenty five or twenty nine pounds, probably a tenner. But um, yeah, they go with so many things as well, and they're perfect for walking. I can walk for quite a while in them as well, miles with, and they go with so many things. So that was that. So they were from Next, and um, yeah, I like them. I didn't. I wouldn't mind sort of like a, a nude coloured as well. So let me go and get my wardrobe bits. So I've got a pair of trousers on. I'll show you my outfits that I'm wearing now in a minute. But these, um, I love these. I They are from Primark. I bought them when I was in London. Gosh, that's going back a few years. They're again, they're a size 12. And they are lovely to wear because they're not too long. They're sort of like ankle length rather than, because I find the trousers I've got on, I've had to take up. Um, now they are lovely to wear pretty colours so you can wear quite a lot of different um, colours and I think that cream top will go nicely so that is those trousers and then this this dress it probably looks like absolutely nothing on here it's a vintagey style it's M&S I bought it from a charity shop I'm gonna say nearly nine years ago so sorry, I've got that little bit of hair that keeps sticking over my glasses god that's so annoying that is I don't know whether to keep my hair short or to grow it to that mid-length, that, that little bob that I had before for winter. Um, and it is just the most beautiful dress. The way it looks on me is gorgeous. But eight and a half years ago, I was completely different um, shape. <laughs> I hadn't gone through menopause. I wasn't going through menopause. I hadn't grown extra inches on my hips. But I could not throw it away I just couldn't because it was the first dress I bought after I'd lost an extremely <laughs> large amount of weight and um I bought it after me and my ex split I know I'm sorry you don't need to know that after I lost a lot of weight now unfortunately I've got it's got a little bit missed it's got a little bit that needs to be sewn I can sew that in fact I went down today to get some I'll get it off my mum I'll get my mum to bring me some cotton now I'm going to try this on with the bodysuit underneath because I've got that spare tyre. Now, that spare tyre wasn't as spare or tirey eight and a half, nine years ago um, when I'd gone from a size 20 to a size 12. And, or oh, 12, four, this, is a, this is actually a 14. No, this is a 12 as well. Yep. Yeah. And... Um, Yes, like I say, it's just, it means a lot to me, this dress. <laughs> Very fitted, but it just, I just put it on and I, I split up with my husband, of my ex-husband of 25 years and I was feeling absolutely awful. I put this on and all of a sudden, choirs of angels started singing and I'm like, looking in the mirror going, you look slimmer. You look slimmer, Sam. Because <laughs> I was feeling really down on myself, obviously. Um, but yes, I'm going to try this on and just see how it looks, I think. And I may cry or I may smile. We'll see. Anyway, shall we try the stuff on? So here I am. I'm going to try and film it this way. So you, I'm hoping you don't get too much background and it's not putting you off the outfits. Um, I'm just going to show you my jewellery for today, and that's just these two bangles from, I believe they're both from Splendet. Um, lovely, and they're Bakelite, Bakelite, which I love, so very vintage. Um, so my top is from eBay, and it's bowed in little cashmere. I love the orange, you know I love my orangey red. The trousers are from New Look last year in um, Brighton. I've got them last year. I've just taken them up this morning. It took me an age to actually thread the needle because my eyesight's got so bad after the last few over the last few weeks. And then I proceeded to sew the bottoms together. <laughs> so I don't unpick it all again. But I think I've got it just right with these um, lovely wedge sandals. My top, I'll like show you, is from um, the drop it on Amazon. 
and this is this is a um, I think this is a large they are very um, they're not very roomy at all and I'd love to get the white one they've got it in white and apricot and it sort of goes with everything so a lot of the clothes um, that I'm taking to Brighton yes I'm going to Brighton on Monday the 31st of July and I'll do a cut pack with me because I'm going to be trying my hardest to do a capture wardrobe that you know I cannot do anyway so these are the trousers they're very sort of that 1940s sort of like trousers I love them absolutely love them beautiful colour they go gorgeous with this little t-shirt and um, I love anything with a little sleeve so as I said, I'm um, a soft mean, and that means I, I do better with little round shapes on me than sort of sharp shapes. And today I did a little test. I've got a, a jumper with a sort of like pointed collar on, and it looks okay. And I've got a point a jumper with a rounded collar, and the rounded collar just just it just goes. You know that's how I you know that's why it obviously looks what nice on me so this is today's outfit that I wore all day today see it's got hibiscus on it hoping the lighting's better anyway here's that lovely monsoon top and the found trousers from that I bought in Primark in London um, so that's quite a while ago and I've got my the old face was the favourite little um Clark's little slip-ons. Um, yes, I love it. I'm really happy with this. These have pockets. The other ones don't have pockets, but you don't have to have pockets, girls. Tell yourself that. <laughs> It'll help the sleepless nights. So there is my other little outfit that I really love. Um, yeah, I think, okay, I think I love the puffy sleeves. They might not be the brilliant, you know, absolutely brilliant or suit me that well but I really like wearing them because I like being like that um but yeah I've got another bangle as you can see it's another splendid bangle um what do you think I love this I think that's another little I, I definitely wear this out I'm not one for very light colors but I do love this there we are yes very nice these are that so here is the next this was in the petite range and it's just right actually so you can see it's got that little bit in the back that doesn't make me bum stick out too much <laughs> but i've got it on just with my work trousers which are a little tapered crop slightly cropped at the ankle and some little just some little sandals i probably wear just black shoes with them but i haven't got any at the moment uh, but yes i like this i bought these from the next sale in oh i'm going to go back three or four years now yeah, I like these. I like the style. They're not a petite, they're just a, I don't know why they're that short, but that's just how I like them. So ankle crop, tapered trouser, really looks good on me now, as out. Um, I've got a pair, I will show you these in a minute. I did get these from, bear with, <laughs> I'm going to bend down. Um, they are River Island, the same as the orange trousers that you all absolutely love, but these are also a paper bag waist, but they are not a high waist. They're basically down here. So how can I paper bag myself up? How can I tie myself up in the middle if it's not in the middle? So unfortunately, as lovely as they are, and they are a lovely trouser, can you see? They're basically the same as the orange with a few less details. Little, but they're very, they're very puffy around the hips. And as you know, I haven't got a huge hip or leg there. So my my pelvis starts right at the top here and that's where my actual sort of hip flesh starts up the top rather than going down and out like that so some you know some paper bags these that aren't high waist will not fit me as a flamboyant or sorry as a soft gamine my body isn't that shape and these are the wrong shape i'm not wrong these are wrong <laughs> rubbish <laughs> back in a mo. So yeah, I wanted to show you this, this lovely sort of, it's not chiffon, but it's all actually, this bit's attached, I didn't realise. It's, um, oh, I don't know, it's a bit like scarf material, so it's lovely and light. Sorry, you just get my boobs. Now, the only thing about having this big bust is this, so it will hang off this. I actually go in, <laughs> but it will hang off, but I don't mind. I think it's a nice sort of 60s style. Let me know. So here we have the same style, but slightly softer edges, softer material, a softer neck. Um, 
sort of goes out a little bit. Again, you know, I've got to accommodate the bust, so, you know, that's just something I've got to live with. I've got the buttons down the sides, so a lovely little bit of detail. I've just got it on with the same trouser. Now, this isn't a petite, this is a normal one, this is a 12. Um, I really like it. Every, everywhere time I wear it, people say I love it. So this is one I have worn to work. The other one I haven't worn, and I'm still not quite sure. I love it, but do I love it on me? Is it, you know, is it the right style for me? But this, um, this is slightly softer. Well, actually, it's much softer. It's got the more, the little bit of romantic um, hits to it, hasn't it? The, the, the collar and the bottom frill, the little buttons. So I love this. This again, it's from Next. Vintage. So here I've got the um, zebra print skirt on. It's a it's a wrap dress, a wrap skirt, um, and this t-shirt is again from the drop. If you put go on Amazon and put in the drop puff sleeve t-shirt, it'll come up. They're about twenty pounds, but I've had this a good few years and I've worn it a lot and it washes beautifully. It's got the little bit of you know it's nice and you've got the cuff detail here as well, so it's lovely detail. Um, the skirt, it's okay, it's very roomy, it's not got any stretch in it, but it has, but um, my waist doesn't particularly go in, but I'm okay with that, that's just the way I am. And I put it on with these sandals, so you can see, there it is, got the wrap there, um, put it on with these sandals, I love it, absolutely love it. I'm really coming to terms that I don't have to make myself to an hourglass shape. In fact, I've got a sort of hourglass shape, but it's different than what um, a man is going to draw for us gals, you know. <laughs> so that is a very nice little dress. I absolutely love it. And I say dress, skirt, but um, yeah, it's not got, a, a, that's the only thing. I haven't got the waistband, but I do need to have that, that sort of like, I don't want to have anything hanging out. I quite like things tucked in now. I've got used to realising that actually it looks okay. Being short and curvy, you always feel overweight, no matter what, you know, no matter what, but because I can say short and I've got quite big curves, you do tend to feel overweight, especially if you put on a few, I only need to put on three pounds and I feel like a girl for dress size, you know, that's just the way it is. And I'm learning to live with it and I'm learning to dress nicely. And when I went on um, one of the face workbook websites for this, David Kibbe, the Kibbe style system. Um, everyone, all the everyone said you're already doing it. You're already dressing okay. So I'm quite pleased with that. <laughs> Here is the papaya skirt, and you know what? I love it. Now it's a bit big on the waistband. I mean, it's quite quite roomy. So I put this belt on with it to hold it in because I don't want to not have it. <laughs> So I think that looks really nice with that belt. I'll show you the bottom. There it is. I just kept I just kept these sandals on. I think, I think it looked nice even in the winter. Um, yeah, it's lined. I just did I, did I show you the detail properly? Let me show you the detail properly. So it's got that lovely the pom poms, and then you've got the bit of braiding around there. Ah, oh, and it was sixteen pounds to a fiver, five pound fifty. And I just absolutely love it. I don't think I've ever seen anything that I've loved this much for such a long time. <laughs> I'm really happy with that because I had to work at the back because it's like I say, it's quite big. I've had to pull it in. So there it is with this amazing T-shirt that I think everybody should get. Um, I think because it's summer-ish. Is it summer? With my little white top and then... A bag that's exactly the same colour, little crossbody bag, and you know what? Bring it on, Brighton! I'm loving it. I'm absolutely love it. I'm so pleased I got it because I thought it's not going to suit me, but I think it really does. I love it. Look, you know I love something when I get this excited about a charity find. We all do. We all do. So that is the skirt, and I just think it's gorgeous. Really nice, yeah, really pleased with that. Oh, that's coming to Brighton with me, definitely. Right, okay, that's the skirts done. Let's try the dresses. The dress of dreams, it actually fits. I'm so happy. So there it is, that's what it looks like. It's Marks and Spencers. It's just a jersey, beautiful green dress that needs a little bit of attention there. The only thing is, the shape of it, it does show the little bit of your bra, so I've got a nude bra on. I've got the bodysuit on, which absolutely, oh, 
But honestly, if you could see me without the bodysuit, I'd, I'd have a massive tire just there. Even though I haven't got it, it doesn't, it doesn't hold it in, it skims it. That, so I've just got it on with, I've made sure I have tan legs. I've got it with black, but I think a nude shoe would look, a nude like high sandal would look really nice with this. I love it. Um, I think this is coming to Brighton with me. I'll fix it. And I think this is a date night dress. I know that it's probably, it could skim a little bit more, but I'm over it. I'm okay with that. You know, it's probably looks very tight, but I don't care anymore. <laughs> right. Okay. Answer me, please, in the comments. Am I just kidding myself that the dress of dreams will still fit me? That fit me, you know, when I was about a half a stone lighter and possibly, no, about five pounds lighter. Okay, I'll give you that. And not perimenopause or tummy and just been hit. What do you think? I'm going to walk up a little bit so you can see it. It's the perfect length. Give you a little twirl. If I look back on this, and it looks ridiculous, I am going to cry. But to me, in the mirror, it looks beautiful. So that's the shape it gives me. It's not a huge difference. It's not a huge hourglass or anything by any means. But, you know, it's got the empire waist, which is so flattering for people with a tummy. And I think, you know, we're, I'd, I'd probably put a nice hairband on or something. I'd definitely, like, wear different jewellery. I've just got the green ban bangle on because it's still on. I haven't really put anything with this because I haven't got anything to go with it. But I think... I think I absolutely love it, and if I see my the photo I've gotten of myself, <laughs> I'll just superimpose it on. There we go. But yeah, I'm pleased with this dress. I'm really happy that it fits me. I'm really, really happy that it fits me. It, you know, this, this gave me a lot of confidence when I didn't have, when my confidence was all in the toilet. This gave me such a lot of confidence, and I got so many compliments on it. And I think that really brought me back to reality. You know, a long time ago when I was going through a really bad time. Next dress is the Bowden. So here's the little Bowden dress. So, little hairband. This is the wired one. I just, sometimes I feel like I need that little bit of prettiness, you know. Um, this dress, so what have I got? I've got shoulder pads because, I'm going to try my bra strap falling down now, because this dress is huge on the shoulders. Can you see? My shoulders sort of like start here, my bone, but this is made for someone with, with broader shoulders. And you can see it sort of hangs down. You know, it's so... What I've got are these magic things from, from Amazon. Get, get yourself a pair, nude or black they've got, I believe. And it just, they might have other colors. I'm not quite sure they should be a bit more, you know, they should have a nice brown one really. Um, but yes, see the difference it makes. Let me just make sure that, I've got one shoulder bigger than the other actually, which is quite annoying. And let's get it all, that's poking out the side. That's why that's looking weird. So it just gives it that little equal. You know I like to have my little sh my shoulders equal, and you know I sort of need it to equal out everything. So sorry if you can only see a bit of me. Let's walk back. I've got the dress on, the Bowden dress. It ties around the back. I love it, and I've got it on with the boots, just a pair of black tights. What do you think? I think it looks really nice. And then my little skull handbag, pair of black chandelier earrings, and the cream in the headband goes with the bag. I really like this look. You know I'm not going to be ordinary. <laughs> you know I'm not going to be basic. <laughs> so I love this. The dress is a little bit big now. I've had it a while. I think, I don't know if it's 12 or 14, but I think I, I could do, do with a size smaller. I've got it really cinched in because um, it's, it's actually, it used to fit me around here. It used to fit and now it's very big. So I've got to sort of cinch it in a little bit. You know, I'm quite happy. I'm good old Slim and World. I'm, I mean, you know what? I'm back on my low carb because I can't have the grains or the sugar because it interfere. It, um, I've got um, sort of IBS symptoms. I've got rheumatoid arthritis symptoms that I had brought back in my knees, and it was a real shame. But good old Slim and World, it got the weight off, and now I'm just hopefully I can get back onto my low carb ketogenic diet and stay nice and slim, which I'm really happy with. Um, I'm never going to be like a size t 8 or 10 or it's not it's not the size it's the fact that I'm older now and I'm carrying weight in different places and I'm just accepting it but yeah I really do if you want to lose weight I really would say Slimming World is great if you're really stuck I was really stuck and I couldn't see a way to lose weight because I wasn't sticking to keto even though I know it's best for my health 
um, my mental health as well. I'm I'm back on it. I'm you know I've, I'm I'm doing a course. I couldn't even think properly. So I know that I need my mind and my body. My brain runs on fats better than it does sugar. It's just one of those things. But if yours runs on sugar and you can do something well, you go ahead because. I really am thankful that I did that for all those weeks to lose that stone, you know, just over a stone I've lost and it's it's staying off. I'm, I'm gradually moved over the last few weeks onto keto, you see one of my community posts. And I'll, I'll talk about that in another one. But we're talking about clothes now. Diet's boring. Yeah, so I've got the, the vintage, vintage, vintage Amazon. You've got three of these. I've got a red and white polka dot, this cow print, which I absolutely love, animal print. It probably, I if I can carry that off as a skirt and I've got a really pretty pale blue one which will go with another dress that I've got but you've seen that one last year but I will try it on because it's a it's a completely different fit now because I'm that you know I'm a size smaller but yeah I love this I think even though it's short it works for me because I'm short so I like the bumpiness of it it's even a little bit Stevie Nicks really isn't it yeah I can imagine her with this and a shawl Hmm, I could do with a hat. Not a top hat, though I did used to have a top hat. Yes, I did. <laughs> I gave it to my son and he made the beautiful peacock thing out of it. But I used to wear hats a lot and I don't know why. It's because I've got such a small head. So I just need to get the right size. <laughs> anyway, this is lovely. These are very comfortable. I probably will get a little gel insert for all these boots because I'm quite heavy and I do tend to walk stomp stomp. Um, but yeah, very comfortable. They do, they're, they're quite wide, so I do need an insert for them. And that is the end of that. I'm gonna come and talk to you now. I'm just gonna keep this on though. So here I am back again. I really hope this isn't so dark. I don't, I really don't understand why it's so dark. It's been darker than this in the past. Um, outside, my eyes, my, I've got have to go to the dent, uh, dentist. I still have to go to the dentist, but I really have to go to the optician because in the last couple of weeks, I really noticed a decline in my eyesight. So I can't, even with these, I can't see the screen properly anymore. So that is a very long, gosh, pants this weather, really is. I'm so sorry that it's so dark in here. Um, I hope the lighting was okay to see it. I really do. I'll check it out. If not, I'll put it up anyway because it just has just taken me a couple of hours to do all that. <laughs> um, I had my hair cut last week. She cut it a bit shorter than I'm used to the, the norm, but then I'm not really used to short hair. Um, I'm wondering, I, I do like it. I love it with the bow in. I never even thought of this. I never even thought of it to put the bow in, you know? So I really love that. Um, like with it but really short. Um, did I have the red one in last time I was on? I think I might have the red and white dotted one and it was a little bit longer then. So yeah, it does help a little bit, but she has cut it really short. <laughs> um, so next week is a uh, busy all week, I expect, because I'm working. But Monday, we go to Brighton for a week. I cannot wait to stay in Airbnb. I will definitely vlog. I will definitely film some stuff. I'll do some outfits of the day because I have my husband to help me. Um, I can't say definitely when I'm going to be posting again. Maybe next week I can do a pack with me. That might be an idea to get look at some of these outfits and say, see which ones I'd like to take with me. You know me, I will change twice a day if need be. I will take a massive bas bag, um, suitcase of clothes for just the four nights we're there. I've already down p downloaded the PDFs of the restaurants I want to go to, probably a museum, probably go to Hove to... Um, Norman Cook, you know, Black Fat Boy Slim's cat, big cafe, big beach cafe. It's lovely there. Um, possibly to Shoreham again because they've got the amazing charity shops. <laughs> but we'll see. I'll let you know and I will be taking photos and hopefully uploading lots of them onto my Instagram, which is Samantha Kate, um, Samantha Kate Style. Please pop over there to see any food bits or any outfits I've lately uploaded. I don't think I've done any outfits recently. Um, I've been watching TikTok. And there are a few things on there, but I don't know if I can cope with doing that. I think I'll just be an old lady and stick to <laughs> a Gen X, sorry, Gen X, and stick to my two platforms. Um, tomorrow I've got a t-shirt, new t-shirt coming, one that I've wanted for a long, long time, and I think you might have heard me talk about it a long, long time ago, which I'll probably pick, put pop a picture on Instagram of that. Oh, it's so nice to be back. Honestly, I don't know why I think I haven't got anything to talk about because all I do is yap, don't I? 
So lovely to see you. Wonderful comments as usual. You're all so lovely. Um, my count is up and down, but I don't really really worry too much about that. I just love interacting with you um, regulars. It's been lovely. Thank you so much for all comments. Even if I can't comment back or reply, I would always like and, and um, heart your comments because it does mean a hell of a lot to me. Thank you very much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.